everyone. I'm here today to talk with my Mary artists about erasing, changing, and fixing things. Um, one of the wonderful things I love about pastels is that you're not stuck with whatever you've put down. I know that the other mediums, then you're not really stuck either, um, I, but I'm not um, familiar with them. Um, but I am really happy that that pastels are so easy to fix. Um, and I want to show you all the different ways that we're going to do that today. Um, I want to point out the painting that's on my easel now. This is my attempt at a friend's kitty named Nimbus. And um, I have had to erase Nimbus multiple times. And he's still not quite right. He's almost there though. So uh, I want to show you how that happens. I'm going to take him off the easel, put up something else, and then we'll get right into how to erase and do over in pastel. Okay, so I've got a new uh, piece up here. One that it's just something that I played on, and so I want to just show you um, some of the ways that you can use um, to erase and change things up. I don't care what happens to this, so I'm uh, an erasing might actually be a good thing. Maybe I can reuse it. So I'm going to share with you uh, all my favorite ways of erasing. Obviously, one of the very first things you might think of with pastel is just putting on more pastel. And that works well most of the time. If you still got plenty of tooth, that is grit, or the roughness that you find on paper um, left, then you can just cover over what you just had on there. Now, the colors will show through a little bit, so you want to make sure that that under color is one that's going to help harmonize your painting. But really, you can use a lot uh, of, of the time. You can just go, oh, I didn't like that extra mark, and it's gone. So covering over is one of your options. It's only applicable sometimes, though, so make sure that that's going to be a good option for you. But like with my kitty, I really needed to just get rid of large areas of uh, mistakes or something that didn't work. My drawing animals, the proportions have to be right. I was trying to do it freehand um, to challenge myself so he, he didn't always come out right. So I kept having to redo and large areas. So um, let me see. I have my box of tricks here and I put a picture of it um, in the introduction, so hopefully that'll help you. But I have my little box of tricks here. Um, and the very first thing that I would try um, would be one of these two options. I'm going to try this little foam brush. Notice it has a really nice sharp corner on it that I can use to get into tiny little areas. Or if I have huge areas, I can just use the flat of it. So let me show you kind of what that does. And with that pink. And you can see that I can get off just the one layer if I want to. If I'm careful, I can take off that pink and I can go back with something else. Or if I really get into it, I can go all the way down to the underpainting. It does smooth out and spread things around. So um, you will lose a little bit of your texture, um, the texture, the look of the texture, not the actual texture. All right, so um, the same thing. I love this little brush. It's super cheap. It's a half inch brush. It's super soft and super long, but it works really, really well to just take off a layer or two. Now you can see that there, maybe you can see, I can see that there is dust. Be aware that if you are sensitive to any kind of dust particles, um, pastel is pretty much non-toxic 
um, as far as uh, breathing in the chemicals, the, the pigments that they're made of, those are chemically bound and they won't really hurt you. But if you're sensitive to dust, if you have asthma, if you have all those things, please be careful um, where you, how much dust you cause. All right, you might want to consider that. Um, let's say that I got this all off, but I still want to go down further into the um, uh, uh, into it, to the paper, um, and I need to get off more. Well, I can use just your regular kneaded eraser, and I can press that and erase that. Looks like I'm going to have to use an extra hand here, and I can get even more off all right further down into the underpainting and the the closer to the to the original paper then um i also learned recently about the magic eraser it's the kind that you would just buy to use at your house um, to clean things and you can get them in huge packs for very little money and they erase quite well also. Um, I'm, I, I understand that they work really well if you wet them. Let me grab some water and we'll see what happens on this surface. I have used it with water before on other surfaces, but I haven't ever used it on this surface, so let's see what happens. Wow, look, that takes it, takes it way down. All right. So magic erasers are also an option. Um, there's a couple of other brushes that I have here. And really, it's just a matter of size. So I have these teeny ones. That would work if you had just a very small thing you needed to change this one and this one. And I have these giant ones, which are the ones that I take out side to the driveway <laughs> with my grandchildren to brush off whole pieces that just need to start over. So those are great ways to erase. Um, there's a couple of other options that I want to mention. And... Um, Let's say that you don't, you, you've, there's, there's certain circumstances under which what you might want to do is not erase, but just give yourself more tooth so you can go over that area. Um, and though that wouldn't be really erasing, but it is like that makes it possible to make some major changes. And that's workable fixative. Um, I have this Krylon kind. I also have the Spectra Fix. I use them for different textures. Um, the Krylon, uh, it goes on okay, but uh, you can also like make it just barely spray so it makes these wonderful spots that uh, add texture if you want to. The Spectra Fix I have found is the one that least changes the color once it's dry. Um, with with the work with the Krylon, I don't care about whether it changes the color because I'm just going to go back over it. Uh, with the Spectra Fix, if it's definitely not a color that I want to darken, I will use the Spectra Fix. So those are fixatives that you can just spray, and I'll show you. And then you'll need to let them dry. It doesn't take very long. And just spritz it. Boop, boop, boop. And then it'll dry in a bit. And then you'll be able to go back over it with some more pastel. Another thing to do, if this piece really has just died, you're just done. And you've brushed it off, but it still has a ghost image that you kind of want to get rid of. One way to fix that is to use your alcohol and just do a wash on it um, with a brush and then you have a nice neutral colored um, background to start a whole new painting on and I would just use 
um, maybe my foam brush to do that in. So I'm going to spray that. You can see that the pastel is already moving around and I can create a whole new background instead of the yellow or whatever to, um, yeah, I'm going to pull it up in there because you just never know. And one thing that's fun to do with alcohol is I'll sometimes just pull back a little bit and boom, give it a little spray and let that dry. Sometimes it gives a nice, very interesting texture to it. So maybe it runs down. I don't really care. It's going to make a lovely, uh, interesting underpainting for me to get started with next time. So, those are all ways that you can erase or change large areas of your uh, pastel painting, and I hope this has been very helpful for you. Be sure that if you um, have any questions, to put them down below in the comments, and I'll try to get to answering those. And hopefully this has been helpful to you. If it has, I would love it if you would let me know by hitting the like button and the subscribe button. If you share it with your friends who might also need to know, I'd be appreciative. I'll put a link to my website and my uh, email if you want to email me questions or results of your experiments. Alright, I would love that. And I'll put my um, Instagram, all those things. You can find me on social media. I would love to hear from you. And thanks for being here and watching. I really appreciate you. And I hope that you continue with your merry artist pursuits.